In this video, we're going to explore what it actually means to apply the law of assumption to your life, to actually take action and move beyond merely taking in the information and not applying it and being a passive listener. Neville Goddard guides us on actually how to apply this information and use these techniques that we're learning and how to put them into practice and actually make them work for us. Because the key to manifesting our desires is to assume that anything that we imagine is possible in our external reality. And just by assuming that we're the person that we truly want to be, we apply the law of assumption and we put it to the test. Now, even though our rational and our logical mind and our senses may deny our desired reality, if we persist, we will receive our desired assumption. Now, the universe, the external world will reorganize itself to fulfill our assumption, but only if we persist. We have to persist in maintaining this assumption every single day until it actually becomes our reality. But so often we allow ourselves to be derailed and disrupted by these external forces, by anything in the physical reality that could throw us off. Now the first technique to actually applying the law of assumption is to ignore our external reality. And what I actually mean by ignore the external reality is not to flat out deny it and resist it, but rather to see it and acknowledge that it's there and turn your attention away from it. Do not give it any more importance. Because you have to remember that according to the law of assumption, nothing exists outside of our consciousness. And essentially what that means is that our physical reality is a reflection of our inner world. It's only a projection of our internal awareness. And current reality is just a projection of our pre previous assumptions. So instead of relying on your physical reality to validate what's already within you. The law of assumption argues that we must use our internal assumptions to validate our 3D reality. Now our thoughts and beliefs are reflected in our life in terms of finances, love, career, health, relationships, anything. Now the beauty the beautiful thing is that we can actually change anything at any time just by going within and changing our assumptions. Now, we must continue to express and practice these new ideas and these new assumptions until they actually materialize into our lives. And for that, we actually have to be consistent and very, very self-disciplined. We've got to love ourselves enough to actually put forth this effort for what we want to see in our life. Now, Neville Goddard discusses this concept of freedom and how to actually achieve true freedom. And he references the book of James in the Bible and really emphasizes the importance of not just hearing these words, hearing the law of assumption and taking in the knowledge and consuming it, but actually doing it and applying it. Because he explains that if one looks into the perfect law of liberty and perseveres, they will be blessed in their actions. So Neville is encouraging you, the listener, to look into your own mind and assume that you are already free. You are already that which you want to be, even if you feel like you're imprisoned. And he states by just rearranging the structure of your own mind and assuming that you're free, regardless of what your senses are telling you, you can change your perception and ultimately change your reality. Now, he emphasizes the importance of not just hearing this, but actually applying it and doing it. Be a doer of scripture and persist in this until your assumptions harden into fact. So I'm going to read some words of his, and I quote. So here it is really, the servant of the Lord speaking, and he's giving us some fantastic instruction and very practical instruction. Now listen to it carefully. 
I'm now going to quote from the very first chapter of the book of James, of the word. And not hearers only. For he who is a hearer, are not a doer, is like a man who observes his natural face in a mirror, then goes his way and at once forgets what he's like. But he who looks into the perfect law, the law of liberty, and perseveres, he will be blessed in his doing. Now how do I look into the law, the perfect law, which sets me free, the law of liberty? I look into my mind. I'm now imprisoned. I've heard the sentence. I know exactly how long I'm supposed to serve. Now I look into the law of liberty in my mind, and I assume that I am free. I'm set free. How I am not concerned who brought it about, I am not concerned. I simply look into the perfect law, the law of liberty, and I dare to assume that I am free. If I dare to assume that I am free, I rearrange the structure of my mind, the same mind that heard the sentence that I accepted when I heard it now. I do not accept it. I look into the perfect law, the law of liberty, and if that I'm told in scripture, I persevere, then I will actually receive that which I am doing. I must not forget that what I have done and sleep this night as though as I am in prison. For if I am now set free, where would I sleep? Let me know exactly where would I sleep. Well, dare to assume that I am sleeping there now. If I sleep in the assumption that I am free, I am not in jail. Even though the bars are there, I don't see them. Close my eyes against them, as Blake tells us. Man's perceptions are not bonded by organs of perception. He perceives more than sense soever acute can discover. And so reason or the ratio of all that we already know is not the same that it shall be when we know more. If I take this tonight and test it, and it proves itself in the testing, or that I have added to my knowledge and so I know more than before, I tested it and so when I find myself up against something that seems beyond solution, I have found something that can solve it. All I have to do is rearrange the structure of my mind so I dare to assume that I am the man I would be. And sleep as though I am, that's the rearrangement of that structure of the mind. I'm being the same Neville. I know exactly those that I knew before, but now I know them differently. I know them now as freed man. But I must must not be a hearer of what I heard in scripture. I must be a doer. I must do it. So be not a doer only. Be a doer in the full sense of the word so that I actually do it and persist. The word is persevere in scripture. The first chapter, the 22nd to the 25th verses of the epistle of James. So I will simply do it. And though tomorrow I am confronted with the obvious facts of life that I'm still imprisoned, it still doesn't matter. I did it, I am doing it, and I will continue to do it until that which I have done is perfectly externalized within my world. And that is the end of Neville's words. Now, if you like this video, please be sure to hit the like button and leave a comment below with your biggest takeaway. Also, be sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon if you want to be notified every time a new video is uploaded so you can start accelerating your manifesting and have the life that you truly desire.